This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News from the American Academy of Dermatology's annual Summer Academy in Boston. Joining me is Dr. Stuart Goldsmith, a practicing dermatologist in Albany, Georgia. Dr. Goldsmith gave a talk suggesting that the 6 millimeter diameter cutoff, the D in the ABCD melanoma criteria, may miss some early melanomas. Lesion darkness, however, appears to be worthy of further consideration as a criteria. Would you discuss your ideas about um, the fact that diameter might not be the best criteria for melanoma and that darkness makes a better criteria? What other specialties are doing in surveillance and other, for other cancers is looking intensively for earlier and smaller lesions, such as for gastroenterology is, is emphasizing colonoscopy more to look for earlier, smaller precursor lesions breast cancer, digital technology to look for earlier, smaller breast lesions. Dermatology simply is not on the same page as other, other specialties in terms of cancer surveillance by the very existence of a diameter criteria. Even though it's recognized that all, can all melanomas start as single cells or possibly a few cells, and so even microscopically they're already cancers, we're not even telling patients to do that. And again, if, if we were doing okay, then it wouldn't matter. The fact is, is we're not doing as well as, uh, as we want to for our patients because more Americans are dying every year of cancer. So first of, of melanoma. So first of all, we want to tell patients to look and tell practitioners to look. And secondly, we want to tell them what to look for. And the single criterion that seems to have the most impact to recognize the smallest melanomas is the criterion for darkness. So the single change of changing the D from diameter to dark would accomplish both goals. One, we would not deter recognition of smaller lesions. Two, we would tell patients and educate patients and the public about how to recognize the smallest lesions because you don't find what you don't look for. And the message of the diameter criterion, which is an inappropriate counterproductive message, is that melanomas are not, quote, uh, um, that melanomas are, quote, the size of a pencil eraser. Or more. The fact that patients would monitor for smaller lesions and start the process of getting into the doctor to get a lesion checked as early as possible uh, would hopefully avoid what could end up being a critical delay in, in recognition of a melanoma. Over 8,000 Americans die every year of melanoma, most from cutaneous lesions, lesions on the skin that could have been removed in smaller than six millimeters in time to save the patient's life. So you don't want to do anything that delays recognition of melanoma. This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News.